This is just a small introduction to the GameCube era. Every day in my life I take a glimpse in the mirror and I see fools trying to be like yo ever since I hit it down with the Nintendo. Yeah! Welcome back to 31 days of Nintendo. Ooh, ooh. We're in the hurry up offense because we've got what? About a week, week and a half left or just barely. Uh, so we got to play all the systems and we're going to talk about three systems today. You've got the Game Boy Advance, boom, then the GameCube, boom, and then the DS, and they're all awesome in their own right. But, like we said, uh, we got our trusty, boom, Game Boy Advance SP here. Uh, I've had this since Pokemon, Ruby, and Sapphire days. So that is actually what I played something on. The Game Boy title, Wave Race. That's what this is what I played Wave Race on. So technically, we can sort of cut it out since we already did. But uh, if we don't, you can see uh, Nintendo had some really cool stuff like the Pokemon uh, Game Boy Advance SP here, uh, way back in the day. We're talking ancient history. Uh, but Pokemon Center was awesome. They had uh, Groudon and Torchic and Bulbasaur. And Kyogre and all sorts of stuff. So that's pretty cute. Looks like that. And open it up. Oh, there's a little Pikachu on it too. So yeah, that's the Game Boy Advance. And it's pretty cool. Um, the one game I would selected, or I did select if I would be playing it, and uh, maybe I still will, who knows, uh, is Game Boy Advance. Well, it's the Game & Watch Gallery 4. Now, originally I had... Uh, I found this miraculously because you can tell this is the US version or North American version but it was in one of the used shops here so I immediately ran out to the ATM and got money and picked it up but uh, yeah you can see these things are so tiny and uh, I mean I can understand why people would just throw that out even though I don't think I ever have for games what Game Watch Gallery before. Not true. Unfortunately Super Mario Brothers three was uh, so played that the box was mangled and I actually threw it out but I managed to get a replacement box because uh, yeah reasons I have no idea and this is how complete this is subscribe to Nintendo Power get a free gift Game Boy Advance there's how the original system looked I don't know why I didn't really want one of those but they came out with a backlit one it's like okay now I'm in boom uh, and a precautions booklet. Booklet. I didn't know booklets could fold out, so it's more like a poster. Anyway, uh, and yeah, Game & Watch Gallery 4, there we go, boom. Next side, probably too quick. Uh, so, you, it says Game & Watch History, getting started, the modes and games. Now, I think the cool thing about this is not only do they have the uh, oh, fireboxing, rain shower, Mario Cement Factory, Donkey Kong Jr., Donkey Kong 3. Not only do these have uh, the old Game & Watch... I guess they're not really ROMs because that was, wasn't that an LCD screen? But uh, they remade them. There we go, modern and classic modes, if you can see that side by side. So you have the classic look of the Game & Watch systems, uh, those mini handhelds or whatever one-offs, kind of like Tiger. And then uh, you've got the modern remakes there, very colorful and fun to play. So, you know, maybe I should, controls and stuff. Or is that for each game? Oh, that's fire, yeah, okay. Uh, boxing control guide, okay. And you can unlock more games. I think this has some, the most games of of all of the uh, Game & Watch galleries. But for some reason, this was only released in the West. And uh, yeah, I was thinking about getting it, and lo and behold, I saw it. That's why I jumped on it. But uh, yeah, so that's the Game Boy Advance. Again, I didn't play too much stuff there. I played Legend of Zelda. Was it A Link to the Past with Four Swords Adventures or whatever that uh, multiplayer was called? And that was awesome. Back in the uh, Greenwood Film Society and Video Burn, the UCR Anime Club. Uh, so that was fun. 
Uh, but yeah, it was all about Pokemon and Pokemon and Pokemon. And of course, I'm a console guy, so yeah, Pokemon here. And now the Switch is kind of hybrid, so anyway. Uh, what are we going to talk about? Whole bunch of GameCube games here. Uh, I don't think I can get to this, unfortunately, but we've got Super Smash Brothers. Uh, this is Melee. They say Deluxe here. Uh, and I think this was one of the launch titles or early titles here for the GameCube. Let me show the back. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I had this back in the day when I was, uh, <laughs> buying GameCube games that I probably shouldn't have been buying because I had no money and no job. So, yeah, what kind of game is Smash Brothers DX? But, uh, yeah, I mean, it was such a big hit on the 64, as we discussed in the last video, that uh, they had to bring it to to uh, GameCube right away. Uh, there's lots of, lots of controls and lots of stuff. And, I mean, yeah, the game is a lot deeper than uh, just A and B. As, uh, you know, you start off, I guess you can get away with it, but... Uh, I mean, I've got some friends that are just absolute demons and, and tear stuff up, so... Uh, no, they're talking about tournament modes and all sorts of stuff. But, uh, yeah, graphically, of course, it's going to be a massive improvement. Uh, different stages, new items. So, yeah, Smash Brothers is fun. Uh, check that out on the GameCube if you like. Uh, we're not going to talk... Are we going to talk about all of these games? Uh, Wario World? Uh, honestly, I have no idea, and I'm sure it's a long game, so that's why this is actually getting cut, unfortunately. But, uh, you got the disc there and the manual, which looks a little ragged, to be honest. Up close there, boom, boom. Uh, ooh, four pages of precautions and taking care of your disc uh, there's some story mode I guess he's sitting around dreaming of gold and decides to go get some controls uh, yeah so I'm not sure why I picked this up if I never played it but uh, the graphics look pretty good there boom Uh, there's your inventory screen with uh, stuff I don't know, different stones, there's stamps, there's uh, your treasure box, and yep, no idea what any of this is. So, uh, yeah, again, I should sit down, you know, maybe I should do 31 Days of Wario since uh, there are... A lot of Wario games out there, spin-off of Mario, of course, and it just occurred to me that Bowser is not the lead in any game, so that could be interesting. Anyway, Wario World there for the GameCube, that's pretty cool. Another Wario uh, game I have played, and this has become a weird uh, wild series by itself, is WarioWare. And this is actually the second game in the series, because the first came out on the Advance. Uh, five minutes, fun party games, boom. And yeah, I mean, whoever thought of these must have been on something, because the games are totally wild. Uh, yeah, Asamare made in Wario. So, again, they're just like, uh, maybe at most 10 second games. They're totally random, like sticking your finger up the nose on the screen or pulling a nose hair out. I don't know why I keep talking about noses, but, uh, you know, there's some of the games. Some of them are uh, the 8-bit games modified, like Zelda goes into the cave. Uh, well, Link goes into the cave in, from The Legend of Zelda. And it's just crazy. Uh, well, I... I guess there's some story to it too. I'm gonna figure that. You can see the crazy cast of some characters there on the back. 
Uh, but yeah, it's just mini games. Uh, again, you play with friends, and there's your Iki no Kori Fever. So yeah, you can see some four-player action there on the screen. Uh, like this rhythm parts too, just hitting the stuff to the beat. Not sure what that is. Not, oh, but you get again. You got some characters there, and some characters here, and they're listing different dates for some reason. That's weird. Doctor Craig or okay. Uh, is there a small list of mini games I can show you though? It would make more sense. What is this? I guess they even uh, drew some mazes here for kids to have fun with the manual. Go figure that. Uh, another character there. But yeah, I mean, uh, in other games, or you go around, you catch something that's falling, uh, you try to swat a fly, uh, other games, you shake the Wiimote and it organizes the paper. So, I mean, it's some crazy stuff. And apparently, also, I that was one cool thing about the game. Another cool thing about the GameCube is you can connect the Advance or the SPs and use them as other screens for like inventory. Or if you were playing a multiplayer game. Uh, so, I Nintendo, like I said, they've always been pretty innovative on the... Uh, hardware side and ooh, what is this okay got to be careful with this this is a die and character stamps and then pink pieces of wario poo that you can pop out and play a game here wario sugoroku option card boom and this must be the board game that accompanies it. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty complete. It's missing the uh, whatchamacallit instructions. So there's the goal. There's the start. Uh, ooh, a lot of text here to read for this game. There's one game. And then on the back, we've got another game. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Like, not only do you get a game of mini games to play on the GameCube, but you get a, two board games more mini games to play with uh, well in real life so I think that's pretty cool so, so this is uh, again made in Wario uh, Atsumare made in Wario this is the second game uh, first on the GameCube and that's a pretty cool game check it out if you get the chance and next next Another one I might end up cutting because uh, we're running low on time here is Wave Race Blue Storm. Uh, again, it's continuation from the Wave Race series and I think it's the most recent game as far as I know. But uh, again, upgraded graphics for the GameCube here. Uh, there's the disc there. Of course, they always seem to rotate out of position. It's very annoying. CDs, DVDs, all that stuff. Four pages of precautions. Uh, table of contents. There's controlling your jet ski. There. And uh, yeah, again, I do like the physics a lot more on the N64 version than... Oh, they added at least four racers here than the uh, Game Boy version because Game Boy version again it's top down it looks more like uh, well not RC Pro I'm sort of isometric but a top down you know and I those controls were always funky to me but uh, Wave Race actually it, it still got some fish tailing but you know that makes sense with the water physics and uh, what is kind of irritating about that game is that it increases the chop as you increase in difficulty. So not only are the racers faster, uh, the courses, the water is more difficult and then the courses themselves are even more difficult. So go figure that. And I would assume 
that Blue Storm here is much the same. Uh, but hey, now that there's eight racers, you can get up to 12 points per race, as opposed to 7, 4, 2, 1 in the 64 version. Uh, there's time attacks, time trials, uh, score attack, because you can do tricks off the thing, like spin around on the jet ski here. Oh yeah, there we go, stunts, there we go. So, handstands backwards. So, I mean, you do a 180. Okay, that makes sense. Standing somersault. What? Uh, okay, don't know. Flip sub. Don't know. Cowboy. Not quite sure the name of the trick, so if you have a better idea, let me know. Okay, uh... Long submarine, short submarine, backflip, a right twist. Spider Man? Knock knock? Knack knack? Okay, not quite sure, but all sorts of tricks you can do. Uh, I'm sure there's spinning the actual jet ski itself in various ways, kind of like a snowboarding. Snowboard, but uh, free run training options. Uh, they don't give you any course descriptions. Lame. Uh, okay, so that's disappointing. But there's your manual for a wave race blue storm. That's pretty cool on the back. Boom. Uh, again, I might have to cut this if I go down to one GameCube game. Uh, and I'm not going to play this version, I don't think, but... Just wanted to pull it out and show you that, yes, here's the GameCube version of Doshin the Giant. Because uh, Nintendo didn't want to strand that on the DD. And supposedly this comes with its own, or it's the combined game of Doshin 1 and 2. Of course, uh, 2 is kind of just like uh, an expansion kit or DLC. Uh, and it, but it even comes with memory sticker, so that's pretty cool. Precautions there. And then, very colorful thing there. Uh, yeah, so, let's see. I mean, Wave Race is a, a, a series Nintendo could consider bringing back. Uh, Doshin the Giant is a series they could consider bringing back. Although, this year, it seems that all they're doing is ports. But, uh, I guess we'll talk about that when we get to the Switch video, if we get to the Switch video, there's some controls, you know, so maybe I should read this and figure out how to play. Yeah, so, again, switching between uh, that and the uh, the hate giant here, or Dojin, 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 wait, Dojin the giant, but the kanji is for Hito person. So there's a picture of him planting trees and helping. So yeah, I think actually, this is a much better manual to uh, to show you than the DD one was. Uh, might actually make more sense playing the game if I read this. And yeah, lots of colorful illustrations here. This yeah, this is a really good manual. And then I guess how it works with villagers and culture and monuments. So, hmm. How to grow. Yeah, I, I do remember him growing a little bit there. So yeah, check out if you're in Japan or the EU. Uh, unfortunately, this was never released in North America. Go figure. And there's even some Q&A, so FAQs. Hey, interesting stuff. Whoa, four pages of it, in fact. Okay, so that's uh, Doshin the Giant for the GameCube here. And once this gets back in there, ooh, nice. Okay. Uh, then, if there is one game I'm playing on GameCube, this was decided long ago, uh, it is going to be finally for the first time ever Pikmin boom 
And as you know, this was released as New Play Control or Wii Day Asobu on the Wii. And more recently, Pikmin 1 and 2 released on the Switch. So there are ways to play it. In fact, all the Pikmin games are on the Switch now. Go figure that. 1, 2, 3, and 4. But I have never played a Pikmin game, so we're going to pop this in. And as Luke would say, play some of that. But uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what all the hype is about. Because, uh, like, especially Arlo. But uh, a lot of the stuff I watch, they're all like, Pikmin, Pikmin, Pikmin. I want Pikmin 4. And I'm like, what's, what? <laughs> what is the deal with Pikmin? So we're going to find out what the deal with Pikmin is here. With the GameCube controller. Uh, some story, yeah, Olimar, I mean... I know what the stuff look like. looks like, I kind of know how you play this stuff, and then you got sizes of Pikmin and Olimar compared to the GameCube disc and the GameCube controller, that's kind of cute. Uh, how to use the controller, uh, hopefully there's a practice mode, I think that was the worst thing about 1080 snowboarding, it was there's no training mode, so, and the control descriptions weren't very clear to me when I was reading them or reading yeah when I was reading them so it's like um, how do I play this game uh, so yeah hopefully there's some training and practice modes because I don't know what's going on I know you collect the Pikmin and you shoot them at stuff to like beat bosses or have them carry stuff around so you know it's gonna be an experience and this is also not only is this the representative the GameCube game if I'm only playing one game uh, it is also designated for cleanup because whenever the month finishes, uh, after the second day of the month, so we don't do anything on the first because it's 31 days, but uh, then I, I clean up games like some of the shooters uh, border down back when that was a thing, at 20, 22, 20, 31 days of shooters, check that out, and uh, what else, Ikaruga, yeah, so those were designated for uh, cleanup and Pikmin is definitely designated for cleanup so hopefully we'll play that and beat that and boom and then also how, I forgot the system go figure uh, but I'm trying to remember where exactly it is if I can run in and get it but probably not last but not least uh, in this block uh, the play all the systems block oh not for this video, last but not least for this video, uh, is the Nintendo DS, which, uh, yeah, way back in the day, uh, yeah, one of the anime peeps said uh, the DS will knock your socks off, and it pretty much did, even though I mostly used it for Picross and Pokemon. But, uh, and Google had an article, which I didn't read, but just saying that uh, Super Princess Peach here is not the best Peach game and that it gets so I kind of think it gets a bad rep but we're gonna play this as our DS representative because Showtime is coming out probably today uh, yep yeah, but Super Princess Peach was the previous game and yeah they come on little cards as you know it's so tiny uh, again these are easy to get lost but uh, you know, get yourself a carrying case and you should be good. We got a mangled club Nintendo thing here. And I mean, we won't show the code, but you know, that's what they look like in all the purchases. And there's the manual Ooh, with some art on the back. And let's, is it a normal platformer like Mario? It's got hearts for the table of contents. That's pretty cool. Um, and you also saw on the left side, touch screen controls. Which is a good point. Uh, Monogatari. Huh, it seems this is aimed at the younger crowd because there is uh, fewer kanji here and more hiragana in the story. Nothing wrong with that. It means it'll be easier to read. Uh, and then controls. How to start the map screen. That looks decent there. And mm, 
not. Okay, there's Peach's hit points. Uh, there's some coins. Something about toads. Oh, it helped. Toads, you've helped. Uh, the hand panel. With more hearts and items to collect there. Now I'm really curious. Uh, various actions. Kibu no Kaido change your feeling. The pause menu. Mm, oh, and a blue Goomba. Oh, okay. So now you got me curious. Uh, not too much happening here, but uh, yeah. So Super Princess Peach, we're going to check this out because I'm curious about seeing the incarnation prior to Showtime, which, you know, may make an appearance in, the, in a future video. So, yeah, that is the, well, start of the play, all the systems block. We talked about the Game Boy Advance. We talked about the GameCube, a fantastic system. And we talked about the DS, and they're all fantastic systems. Uh, again... Let me know in the comments any games I missed or games that you really like on those systems that are not Nintendo mainstays like Mario and Zelda and whatever. And I guess Pikmin is... Actually, this series is still alive, so that's good. But this is Dormant. Peach is coming out, as we said, today, I think. Doshin the Giant is Dormant. That could come up back up. And Wario... I don't remember the last Wario game. But I, there's two WarioWares for a Switch, so go figure that. Uh, but yeah, again, let me know in the comments anything I missed. Uh, and we'll talk about it. So as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, keep dancing.